Hello, my name's Andrew Wren, and I invite you to join me for this short practice where we're going to be looking at variations of Uddhva Danyarasana or upwardly facing bow. Now, I would have expected you to have warmed up before this practice, and also if you're going to practice with me, that you're all fairly comfortable with the posture. So, to begin, to release the hands, release the legs. And we'll look at the upwardly facing bow posture. So having the feet about hip width apart, bringing yourselves to lie down onto the mat. <clears throat> shoulders settled. And bringing the hands behind the shoulders. And there are two different ways that we can come up. We can come up onto the top of the head first of all. And then the other variation is we'll move straight up into the posture. So to come onto the top of the head, first of all, press into the hands, press into the feet. Don't bear the weight of the body through the head. Still using the hands, still using the feet. Elbows not too far apart. Gently activating the core muscles. If you can then lift a little higher, you can. Keeping the chest open, heels sinking to the mat. With a convenient breath out, lower, gently down, release the hands, bring the knees to the chest and just rock gently from side to side. Then knees becoming still, bring the feet to rest back to the mat. So second variation is without moving on to the head first of all, arms, hands behind the shoulders, after the next breath out, press into the hands, press into the feet and lifting chest open. Notice the arms, how straight the arms are. When you feel ready, with a convenient breath out, lower, gently down. Knees together, knees to the chest and this time just circling the knees to massage the lower back. Remembering to circle the knees into the opposite direction. We're going to then move into the third variation where we're going to possibly lift and extend first the right leg and then the left leg. So it's arms, hands behind the back. Press into the hands, either first coming onto the head as you breathe in, or lifting directly into the upwardly facing bow. Now, either staying there or take the right thigh to vertical, can you extend the right leg? Right leg resting down, left thigh to vertical, extend the left leg. Bring the foot to the mat, gently lower down. Ankles, knees together, and again that circling movement with the knees. Letting the knees become still. Release the legs, move up first to a seated position. And if you want to move into the next stage of the practice, I want you to feel secure and confident about bearing the weight of the body through the hands and through the arms. So for this practice, move into a down dog position with the heels back towards the wall. So the hands are a little further forward from the shoulders, fingers evenly spread. Lift the knees, let the heels sink towards the mat. Shoulders drawn back away from the neck. Peeling the right foot from the mat. Press the right foot to the wall. And if you can, lift the left foot. Have the legs parallel to the floor. Feel the shoulders lifting away from the neck. Notice the arms. Arms pretty much straight, which is important 
for the next part of the practice. Rest the feet back down, knees to the mat. We'll take a few resting breaths, bottom back to the heels and reaching, extending the arms forwards. Drawing the hands slowly back. So I want to see now if we can move from upwardly facing bow, using the wall to come over to standing. So, lying back down onto the mat, don't be too far away from the wall. Feet parallel, feet about hip width apart. Bring yourselves to lie down onto your back. As we've been practicing, taking the arms, the hands behind the back. Either lifting to the head first or with the breath in, lift. Now the arms want to be pretty much straight, as straight as they'll comfortably go, otherwise the arms won't bear the weight of the body. Bringing one foot against the wall, press and over. Feet parallel, hands to the legs, and then up to standing. So remember, only attempting the practice if you're confident with bearing the weight in the arms. Always delight, always enjoy your practice. My name's Andrew Wren. Thank you. Thank you.